We chase after the ones that we cannot we, get. We're like, oh, I'm gonna change it. <laughs> like, <laughs> this will be my little project. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Pillow Talk. I'm Grace. And I'm Liana. Today we have with us the famous Aaron <laughs> Dawson. He is a TV personality and also an actor. Today we're talking about how to get what you want out of a relationship. Are you sure I'm the best person to ask? I don't know, so that's why we're, we're, we're going to investigate. Yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. Okay. Okay. So what's your relationship status? I would say exploring. Ooh, yeah. so like... Just got out of one actually, yeah. Was it good or, I mean like a good ending, bad ending? How is any ending good? Oh, right? <laughs> okay. I mean, it's, it's alright lah. Things are past already. From your relationships, your past relationships, yeah. have you had any regrets? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I regret not being the best version of myself and mm. letting a wall up. You know, sometimes those people who was with me, they didn't deserve that dark side of me not so nice kind of a version of me mm. because back then I guess you know we had walls due to previous relationships mm, and yeah. you get scared mm. and you know and sometimes long distance relationship doesn't really help there's no excuse to hurt anyone I think mm. you know? yeah so after going through what you went through do you think now you know better on what you want out of mm. a relationship definitely yes a big yes and yeah. when did you realize this um, I, I don't think there's a specific one-time realization. I mm. think it's uh, accumulative. I've had like I think what five, five or six mm. relationships, and mm -hmm. and each about two years roughly. Okay, so they're yeah. quite long. Yeah. yeah, each one of them I learned something. But sometimes you don't learn them on the spot. Yeah. You learn them a couple of years down the road, and you look back and you're like, mm. oh, that's how it feels. Okay, all these changes and what you've learned, the lessons, how did you apply it to your future relationship? So one thing I found really useful was the five languages of love. People out there, you guys have to understand that men and women, we're really different. Mm. That could be good, that could be bad. But I think at the end of the day, it's how you perceive it and how you learn to compromise. But then again, you know what they say, you know, guys stay mature later. Mm -hmm. I would say... Do you agree with that? I, somehow. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't paint the whole wall with just one brush, you know, but, yeah. but it does apply in general. I think a guy only matures, I would say, between 28 to 33, you know. So that's the age we should like aim for. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I kind of get why some girls, they like to date older, older men, men. Yeah. because they have more patience. So have you ever heard of the term like, you know, they said, um, if he's not the one, make him the one. What do you think about, about that? Well, I've never heard of that quote. I really? Uh, what? If there is such a quote, I... Yes! Do you know what it means? Like how do you actually okay, explain for them? Okay, he's a, he's not a sensitive guy and he he parties a lot and you don't like that. So you're the kind of girl, oh I just wanna sit at home and you know chill. That kind of guy, you change him to be More your like type your, of guy. Yeah. So you you know slowly, slowly you okay, train um, he, train him. I don't know if I agree with that. No? I don't think I would agree with that. You, you're gambling, you're, you're putting your heart at risk. What if he doesn't change? What are you going to do? Get mm. hurt? But that's what, that's what we do, right? That's what girls do. We chase after the ones that we cannot we, get. We're like... Oh, that we're not supposed to get! That's one. And then uh, I think girls are also seeing it as a project. Like, oh, I'm going to change it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this will be my little project. He's going to be different. So yeah, the, I can be the one so, to so change. These are the exact same girls who would try, get hurt, and then say all oh, men are the same. Okay, let's say two of them really, you know, care for each other, care yeah. for each other and they want to make it work, they will change, right? Like for example, age, age, you know, mm. age of course is just a number. But sometimes it's through your age that you actually gain some wisdom. If you're talking about a guy who's 18 or 19 yeah. and hoping for that thing to happen, the probability <laughs> is actually lower. Not. But if you're talking about someone older, yes, perhaps, you know, he found the one and he would change. But in <laughs> relation to that, there are people out there who won't settle for anything less, so they go out there looking for the perfect one, but they just oh, have so to find it. There is no such thing as the perfect one. Yeah, okay, the perfect one for them. It doesn't okay. have to be a perfect person. Yeah, but, but people have unrealistic lists. Sometimes, yeah. But do you think that is setting like a... Blocking their yeah, chances, blocking their chances of, of love? finding true love? Definitely. When you set your expectations too high. <laughs> what are realistic lists? Lists, yeah. Be different people have different wants and needs. You do know? you have a list? Yeah, I do. What's your list? Yeah. I'm a bit in tune with my emotion. I'm one of the sensitive Aww. guys, you know. So I think one thing I cannot handle is the kind of women that lean towards being angry whenever they're emotional. What? Oh, I cannot okay. take anger too much. Right. I can I can tolerate for a bit, uh -huh. but there'll come a time I feel hurt and I'll be like, 
I don't deserve this. So that's just a major no for you. Like yeah, you based honest. based on my past relationship, I realized that so I, I'm not cut out to handle the kind the of anger. emotional ups and downs, mm. the volatility. I, I can't handle it. I mean, you can still have your right to be a woman and have your moments, <laughs> you know. But but <laughs> if CMS your moments, moments is eighty percent of the time, <laughs> then I can't handle you. But what makes you survive a relationship is whether or not you can accept their flaws. Mm. I don't think love alone triumphs everything. Mm. I believe that. I don't because you see, if you have love and you don't have communication and trust, then you're gonna be in a toxic love. Is yeah. that okay? But so maybe that's part of love. The whole you know yeah. compromise, communication, trust. Compromise. That that all uh, contributes to the idea of true love. Sometimes, for example, me, my dominant love language, I like quality time and I like physical affection. You know, I like being cuddly, you know, like being kissy, you know. <laughs> but some girls don't like that. Okay. You know, but the mistake of some people is like, oh, just because I like to be physically affectionate. I thought by applying it on them, they would feel like how I would feel. Yeah. But yes. some girls they don't like when guys so are too clean. So you gotta clean. understand yes. your partner's love language. Yeah. Some people they like they like uh, when you buy them simple simple gifts. They, yeah. They find that's how they or feel. Or extravagant loved. things. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> or just go exactly, all out. You know? Like for me, you buy for me stuff, I feel bad. I'm like. Yeah. I'm like don't, don't, don't buy for me stuff. If don't once spend in a while it's fine. <laughs> You know, but some people, the more you buy, the more like, you're so sweet. Yeah, yeah. I got Coach Prada. Yeah. Okay, she's high maintenance. <laughs> Clear cut. We are talking about just now, like, um, about all these five languages and love languages. And it's different. What you think is love and what I think is love is different. Yeah. So, how do we do this? Like, how can we get what we want? How but sometimes it can be a turn off to guys. Example, like you said, I'm high maintenance and I agree, I am. Okay. <laughs> so, some guys, let's say for when I'm just getting to know you, for example, you'll be like, oh my god, intimidated. Like, this girl's high maintenance. But actually, I'm a very nice person and I could really love you, you know? Yeah. If I say out loud that, you know, this is my love language, they would just not give me a chance. Some people, they like it to be discovered. Some people, uh, they like, you know what? This is what straight I want. Up. I'm the kind that's very logical. So like, you give me straight, ah, okay, I understand now. You know, but <laughs> okay. if you make me discover, there'll be the whole process of, I don't understand what's happening. Why are you like why this? Is, yeah, why? <laughs> Just talk to me. If you want to see whether her love language is, yes. is physical affection, see her reaction when you get all kissy and cuddly. Yeah. Because sometimes, yeah. They, yeah. they would not tell you straight up, I don't like this, but perhaps sometimes, you know, They don't want to be upfront about it. Sometimes when you cuddle a bit, they'll be like, they'll pretend to like, okay, hang on, eh? they want to do something else. <laughs> oh, but yeah. sometimes we like to mind fuck guys a bit. Like, you know, like... Yeah, that and, is something and, women and, have and, to stop. And it's the same. <laughs> guys mind fuck women too. <laughs> 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 We're just like, ta but actually I want. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's, for some women, we don't want to be straight up about the things we want. Yes. So like, women want yeah. flowers. We want flowers. But we don't want to tell you. We don't want you to know? tell you. We don't want to be like, we want Okay, but at least... It'll be pathetic. Okay, but at least help yeah. us. Give like, us hints. Like what? Okay, if How I want I flowers, so? what can I do to make you understand? Okay, for example, flowers? you know like, hey, want to go out sometimes? And then when you go out, you go to a place that you know there's a flower shop. Okay. And then as you walk past, you pretend to like, hey, you know what's my favourite flower? I like the flower. <laughs> okay. Never worked. <laughs> <laughs> you can't expect us to read minds. No, so we know that, okay, yeah. that's nice, then walk. Then that guy is not <laughs> listening enough. He's not observant enough. Would you say it's clear for you now what you really want out of a relationship? Yeah, yeah. No more doubts now. Like Definitely, man, definitely. I know, I mean, and sometimes the sad thing is you have to live with the fact that sometimes you may want something, but that something definitely will somehow revolve around the thing that you don't like. For example, okay, if you like the loving, clingy kind of girl, the mm. manja kind, expect that they're going to be sensitive. It mm. comes in a package sometimes. Mm. Uh, you know, you okay, can't... So you can't have it all. Yeah, you can't, you can't want a manja girl and then expect like a non-sensitive side to it. Mm. You know, there's a yin, there's a yang. It's always, there's no perfect. Like for me now, mm. I understand better. Sometimes what I want per se might not be good for me unless I can find someone who fine-tuned that balance. So what about for singles out there who mm. are looking for... Like, do you think it's important that we singles know what they want before they get into a relationship? Or should they just experience it first well, and then learn? Well, I, I think at the end of the day, experience speaks volume. Like, because I thought what I want previously was what I want until I faced like, it and I realised that's not what I want anymore. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, because it comes together. I'm scared now. Take your time. Like. I think it, eventually the moral of the story is you be the example first. Like. I uh, think that's, that's the okay. bottom line. Basically, you, you be the best version of yourself yeah, you, and you then know, you can expect the best. Exactly. Yeah. If you are not patient, if you fight fire with fire, yeah. how are you going to find someone who's patient? Well, speaking of compromise, when you are you know, in a relationship with someone and you love them, 
most parts of them. But there are maybe some parts you just can't yeah. compromise on. Do you think that they should try to at least work on it? It's interesting that you brought this because you know there's this um, mentality whereby if you love me, you accept me for who I am. Yeah. yeah. I think there's some toxicity in that. I mean, yeah, sure, we'll accept you for who you are, but hey, at the end of the day, when you enter a union of a relationship, it's no longer about you alone, you know? It's together. It's together. So you have to be able to voice out without getting into a fight. You have to be able to speak your mind in a, in a respectful way. I think respect is really important. Yes. Because once you have the habit of being disrespectful, it's just gonna go worse and yeah. worse after that. It Sometimes is. we don't even know that we're already lashing out. Like yeah, I get it. In which the is moment, why I said men have to be patient. Yeah. <laughs> which is why at the end of the day, I say men have to be patient. Because we are the ones. And that's also you know? hard to do. Sometimes you all yes. will just walk out the door. So what is the moral of the story? <laughs> you know, everything is hard, right? But hey, nothing good comes easy, isn't mm. it? Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Erin. Really. I hope yeah. I've been really insightful. Yeah. yeah, I was. Like, yeah. found out that men can actually be emotional. Uh. Just like us. And it could be a bad thing too. <laughs> because the women have to play that part first. <laughs>